Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, Collie Center, back with some double sticks. So grab two sticks, or you could also grab two training bolos. And we've got some Cinewally drills to uh, achieve today. So hit the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, and let's train. All right, we're gonna go over what's called Cinewally. Cinewally means weave or to weave, like weaves of a basket. And uh, we're gonna go over three basic drills, but they're absolutely essential drills when it comes to Kali and learning coordination and getting the hands to work together. And the cool thing about these drills is that later on, they translate to the double knife, they can translate to a spotty daga, they even can translate to some empty hand techniques as well. All right, so let's take a look at the first one. The first one is everything is high. So we call this one the heaven six. Very, very common pattern. We're gonna start right here in the chamber position. Make sure this isn't too high though, because we need to be able to not only strike on these particular patterns, but if we needed to strike and use a different pattern, we have to be able to do that. And if this is too high, we don't wanna accidentally clip our elbow or chip our uh, you know, fillet, our tricep or anything like that. Remember, even though we're using rattan sticks, Kali authentically is a blade fighting system, so we don't want to uh, you know, clip that with a blade. All right, you can do the math on that. All right, but let's get into the first one, which is heaven six. So this bottom hand right here is right down here next to the uh, hip, just like we're drawing out a sword. And the upper hand on top is right here on the back at full chamber position. All right, from here, we're gonna strike our angle one with our top hand. I'm gonna strike a fluid all the way through. As that hand crosses the center line, now my left hand comes out with an angle two. Once this hand comes out, once it's about to chamber, that means my right hand comes out and hits a broken two and then chambers back to the left hip. Notice now I'm on the left chamber position here. Everything just switches now. I strike that fluid one as it crosses the center line. I hit that fluid number two with the right hand. As this one's coming back around, I hit that broken two with the left hand and then I place that right back underneath the hip, my right hip this time. So I'm right here on the right chamber. Do this one with me. Uh, let's do it for a couple of reps. So from here, we strike the one on the right hand, striking the two on the left hand, and then a broken two on that left hand, on that right hand again, putting us back to the chamber. Left one, right two, left broken two. One, two, broken two. One, two, broken two. One more time. One, two, broken two. One, two, broken two. All right, practice this nice and slow. <laughs> slow practice means faster skill development. If you're just trying to like, let's see if I can blast through this thing and don't really have the coordination down yet, then you're gonna slow your progress down. So start slow, try to make everything nice smooth cuts and then gradually turn up the speed dial. Cinewally drill number two. We call this one a standard six count. The nice thing is once we have the heaven six down, it's exactly the same pattern. We just change the elevation of the strikes. So from here, same exact chamber position, starting off in the right chamber. I'm gonna strike that fluid one. This time, I'm gonna come upward on the diagonal. That's what we call an angle four here at Collie Center. And then we strike that broken two right back into the chamber position. So we strike the fluid one on the left, upward fluid four on the right, and then a broken two again on the left. So it's one, four, broken two. One, four, broken two. All right, let's take a look at the third drill and the last of the basic Cinewally drills. We call this one Earth because everything's pointing down to the ground or pointing down to Earth. Same exact pattern again, but everything's striking downward. So we strike low, we're gonna strike downward on that one, downward on that two, or almost like a horizontal, and then striking downward on that broken two. Striking down, 
striking down, striking down, striking down, striking down, striking down. This one is mostly for if we're fighting somebody who's on the ground or lower elevation than us, right? Then we can still strike down there or use these strikes to protect our legs, to protect our knees and our ankles. So it's the exact same pattern right here, starting off with the top hand, striking one, striking the two, broken two with the right. Fluid one with the left, fluid two with the right, broken two right there with the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just go nice and smooth, nice and slow, and build that coordination. Cool thing is once we have all three of these drills down we can put them all together into like one mega flow drill and you can start creating a little bit of a carenza off of this which is the free flow with the weapons so from here we'll start off do a rep of heaven six bring it down into the standard six and then bring it down again into the earth six and then just start that all over again heaven standard earth Heaven, standard, earth. And just play around. And of course, you can start to mix them up if you'd like once you got the feel of it down. I got one more challenge for you that you can work out on your own and I just want you to kind of think about it. Take like a whiteboard or a piece of paper or something like that and you can write out all the different combinations that you can do with this. But once you have these down, like a whole heaven six here, start dividing the drills from right side to left side. So you might do a heaven six on the right side and then do an earth six on the left side. So now you can create almost an infinite amount of drills. Once you have that down, then try to switch it. Do the earth on the right side and the heaven on the left side. All right, and you can uh, change that up. I think you understand how that goes, right? Try to divide up earth six, standard six, standard six, heaven six, and mix it all up. This training right here is gonna help develop that coordination between the hands. It's gonna get your hands working together. It's gonna help you understanding how to uh, maneuver, get the pattern down, change the pattern, move from pattern to pattern. And uh, it's gonna work a lot of agility and dexterity in your hands and in your Kali. If you wanna take your double sticks to a whole new level, check out my DVD download that I have available on double sticks. I have volume one that's available, which is all solo drills. We have over two dozen solo drills and variations, plus other solo training methods to help you enhance your double sticks. We also have volume two, which moves a little bit more into intermediate to advanced drills. You get to train with a partner, some partner coordination drills, but you can also still do those drills solo on a tire stack, a heavy bag, a pole, anything like that. I have a discount code in the description below if you wanna grab that double stick DVD series or just volume one to start with. Another thing you can do is also head on over to collicenter.training and check out the online academy that we have over there. You don't have to join the whole thing. If you just wanna focus on double sticks, you can just go ahead and grab the double stick area or any of the other areas if you want to. Anyways, keep training, work it out, take your time, remember, progress right it's a little bit of a journey <laughs> and uh remember go slow in the beginning and gradually build that coordination and then gradually turn up the speed dial and you'll have it down mastered in no time i'll see you next time back here at collie center for some more training <laughs>